So it's taking in as input the, the, the position of velocity of the robot and spinning out a velocity trajectory. So you can see it does pretty well with, with dynamic ob obstacles. Um, and then they even have a scenario where each agent is competing the same algorithm, uh, the same network, and they're able to decompose with each other. Uh, so that's, that's one approach. Um, it's actually another deep learning approach I found from a university in Hong Kong, which I found pretty interesting, mainly because they actually don't take, they, they take in raw sensor um, data into this network. So it's just feeding in directly the, the sensor measurements that the robots are getting into the network and having it compute out of velocity as well, which is kind of a whole idea, basically have the network do it for you. Um, and um, so they show it here. Uh, they have lots of different scenarios where they train it in. Um, the one cool part um, is actually that um, so you'll see, um, they actually train it in a whole bunch of different scenarios, different corridors, different um, tight spaces, but then they, it, it seems to extend up pretty well to scenarios where it's never actually encountered, so obstacles with different shapes, for example, um, that are larger than the ones that it's trained on, or robots that behave differently than the ones that it uh, had encountered before. Um, so in this case, this, this is robot, this one right here, Part seems the color has a green, um, some, some, some simulated sensor measurement, uh, range measurements that it gets from obstacles around it. Uh, and so, yeah, this is another approach. Um, the papers were linked to some ones that read them. Uh, they're, they're pretty interesting. Um, so, yeah, it's actually just cool with this last part. Thank you.